cold yeah. killers whenever they're on the sticks. That's what it takes to get the winner's final. Which is insane because like I always picture like E a very uh, like jump back type mm -hmm. of heavy player. He likes to focus. Life. Yeah. yeah. And, and just like very focused on playing at his max effective range. And Syrup is a twitchy nonsense, of, like both with Ness and with St uh, Steve. He tries to do it all with the character. Like if it is coming out on Twitter.com as tech you can do, <laughs> Syrup is putting another couple hours figuring out when can I use this? And in practice, I don't like no die at the same time. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And we've been seeing the entire time, Mr. E has been kind of cooking Syrup a little bit here, making it a little bit of caramel, but it's not going to be enough as somehow Syrup has got kind of you know, reversal to situation, able to find those setups we've been looking for with the Steve uh, building blocks, with the crafting table as well, and then the life-saving block. Give me keeping Serp alive a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, like I said, those tricks when they pop out, they work wonders for Serp. The dolphin slash, though, a pretty nice trick that Mystery has had up the sleeve. Ooh, you're a little close there, bestie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you want to learn something that I figured out uh, a little recently? Okay. Steve, whenever popping off of the Elytra, that upbeat, his magnet hand range effectively doubles. What? Oh. Ew. He I'm sorry. It. He needs it. I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> He needs it! <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's got to be a mist it. Oh no, the mistech not punished. E just very slightly short on the down smash. I like that. A little empty hop almost, and then a little late hit in there. It's going to be the forward, or down throw into the forward air, I was assuming. but. I, I like the idea that the, the Dolphin Slash here to get out of that disadvantage, but I mean, you're in free form for so long, and against Syrup, who is clearly bringing out the dark arts in order to stay alive as long is just making sure Mr. E is just uh, co constantly on his toes here. Even then, you're on the ledge again against Steve, and what do you do? You get to wait, wait for the platform, wait for a situation to go your way, and Syrup now has, doesn't really have any materials. We have Diamond, but doesn't want to use it quite yet. Guess the back air, but is it going to be enough? Nice destruction of the crafting table as well from Mr. E, because now you're at least putting yourself in a position where Syrup has to win neutral first before he gets to craft. But luckily for Syrup, he does so, and instantly you're threatening stock well before the percents that he is starting to hit. <laughs> Nice little wall there. I like that idea. Like we've seen the wall get built, and he'll try and find a way under it. But that time, Serve just kind of stood on top and said, uh, "I'm actually just gonna be up here if you need me." <laughs> oh! Wow. Get caught! Yeah. Oh! Big what are you flying out. right here? Clip your wings. Get out of here. Elytra is broken. Go get a mini table. We are so back, guys. <laughs> Mr. E is working again overtime to make sure no Steve even comes close to the uh, grand final spot that Mr. E wants to take Eve right now. But 143% against Steve, especially when I believe we still have some really good tools. Oh. Gold, eh, not that, not too shabby. You're still living a lot longer than expected. But until those Ooh. damage comes out, it'd be much harder for those I me mean, starting off off the ledge here. Oh, don't be evil. <gasps> I'm no, sorry. No, he's. I jinxed it. <laughs> the camera, yeah. the player cam pans down, just like the Necronomicon. On sort of, like, <laughs> you died. The, dark arts, so. <laughs> the curse of Ra. The curse of Ra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're kind of stuck now with a lot of, you know, stone, a lot of iron. So the blocks are gonna be a little harder to break through for Mr. E here. And it d looks like that won't actually be a problem. The blocks aren't even coming out. Sort of is on the offensive instead. Yeah, he's adjusting the combo for the position that he's hitting in constantly, which is just something that Syrup has always been good at, even back when he played uh, characters like Ness and... Oh <gasps> my god! Ouch, Charlie! <laughs> Move on. Move on. I don't need a replay of that. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't need a replay of that. I don't need to see that again. Hit him with the no. boing, boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my he god. You had to take real life damage for that. That was like. the, <laughs> the only way I don't get home tonight is because I died in this chair laughing too hard. <laughs> like, this was a mistake. <laughs> I'm, I'm giggling a little too much here. But that was just, you know what? Color, go do your job. Oh <laughs> I mean, what's there to say about that? Thank that is, you. That is hit stun <laughs> in a half that you have to work through. Well, if I could, though, it was because of the huge wall of mm -hmm. iron blocks. True. You don't get around that easily. You can't really, yes. like, you can try to jump. But Syrup was already there with the aerial. You could try to roll, but that is so obvious. It's not a good option. Yeah. So and you're kind of just stuck doing get up and into all of that mess that we saw there. Yeah, exactly. Doubly so if you block the anvil, Wholesale, oh. the grounded hit still pops you up. Yeah. Yeah. You know? You're done for. A little bit of lose lose situation we yeah. saw there. A, an actual like lose lose, you can't do anything about it, GG's, we go next. Right, right. And speaking of we go next, we're going over to Final Destination where. Do I agree? Is this really truly Final Destination with Steve making his own platforms? No, not really. 
And we're, on, we're playing around this ledge so well, and it, usually Steve will be favored 9 times out of 10. Mr. E is taking a very big gamble by taking uh, Syrup here, especially with all these trades that are going on here. We're seeing them that they're very even right now, going in for the down throw, starting off very strong. Now we have Diamond already in the first minute of this game. So here's the positives for Final Destination, since you asked, Bon. The, yes. the game becomes a whole lot more linear. You're not having to worry about extra platforms to intercept with uh, Steve's various amounts of keep out tools. You just get to play around like blocks. And Mr. E is this very studied player. He knows how to play around mm -hmm. to break and defeat blocks as best he can. The downside is that Syrup gains all of these materials for effectively free because he gets to use his shovel on Final Destination compared to any other tool on any other stage. And the shovel is never used for uh, offensive purposes. Yep. Mr. E, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is also interesting too. Like the material breakdown ends up, I believe, with some stronger blocks than your average stage as well, which is something that E had a problem with last game as well, right? In, in that situation at the end. Yeah, it's the more like default type of loop, which right. focuses on getting you uh, a lot of stone tools and right, right. a lot of stone and iron. Primarily. Whereas if you go to you know, your Smash earlier town, you end up with a lot more wood. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit easier to break. Right. The iron goes away so, so slowly by itself, and to break it is almost, it's almost worthless. And I feel like it's being shown here. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of down toes for those uh, foot and steals, and then trying to go for a down smash and maybe catching a roll in from Mr. E. But Mr. E, again, like you said, very well researched player, knows what he's trying to do, knows what Syrup is also setting up for, and we're, good, we're going right back to neutral. We're going to be going in for these minings, and unfortunately, Mr. E wasn't able to contest fast enough. Again, he's going to be catching himself in that explosion, completely negated, and then gets caught in a throw, and then gets caught under those blocks. Those are like three back-to-back -back wonderful grabs from Syrup. The spacing on each of those, so very important and so near perfect. Definitely got to shout it out. Even he thought that that counter was going to be good, right. and then it turned out to be the stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, the tech jump as well in order to set up instantly for a ledge trap. Of course, not working out for Syrup quite right. Just the back throw, the Lucina up throw is not going to be closing out stocks even anytime soon, especially without Rage. Ooh. Yep. Is that allowed? Yes. Is that allowed? True combo, baby. Oh, new platform just dropped? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. um, you saw what three diamond tools just did to Mr. E's percentage. It just tripled it in seconds. And we get the second stock at the very least at almost 200%, which is really good for Mr. E. But we still have diamond in our disposal. We don't have any materials for Steve, however. So Steve has to be a little more careful with how he wants to kind of big space, camp out a little bit, go back to neutral, and, and find things wow. to mine. Footstool <laughs> into Anvil is crazy work! <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Footstool into Anvil. You're right, though. You're right. It is so good. That's crazy work. And it was the one time E didn't space an aerial. We saw so many phenomenal neutral airs and forward airs, back airs in really great situations. And then one small misstep at the end and an immediate explosive punish Look. from Syrup. Yeah, like how close was he here? Oh, oh that's oops. Right. Next yeah, up. That's <laughs> here we Playing at half speed. We oh, got no, the 104. No. And this is also just run in, roll in after the F smash. Plant yourself firmly on the stage, center stage, no less, and then almost directly on top. Oh, he! But this was this was solid by Syrup, though. You see yeah. the yes. the back air; it's full drift in. Mm -hmm. Like you know that Lucina's air drift is only slightly better than Steve's, and your hitboxes make up for most of your air drift. So as long as you're able to get in close proximity to Lucina, that footstool is effectively guaranteed. Right, right. And I love just going right into the middle of FD because yeah. like the best, oh my god, the best thing All Lucina right. could do there is maybe fade right and back air. That's not going to happen. No. And uh, hard to talk about this game That's because tough. so much happened so quickly, but amazing presence of mind from Syrup and keeping it going too. What is going on? Yeah, Mr. E's meant. I mean, he has oh, to stay completely forward to right now, completely, a, you know, like an iron wall. But that was his percentage has again gone up so quickly. We're we're barely a minute into the first set, or I'm sorry, the third set, and we are lacking a stock. We're at 99 percent. We don't have the diamonds yet ready for a syrup. But at the very end of the day, does it really matter? We hit the minecart instead of the character, and we get punished for the end lag of that move, and then we get scooped into up smash magma block. I'm sobbing, but Syrup is playing so well, so I, you can't get frustrated. 
No, I mean, it's also just kind of the perfect strategy against Mr. E. Mr. E, like we mentioned so many times, studied Stoic, very great at playing the reactive game, but now with like a substantial deficit. That's where we see those moves like that forward smash come out, and that should be it. Oh my yep, goodness, is it ever. That's the game. Just, just like a microcosm of what Steve can do and what Syrup is especially good at. Like the kid is so strong in his technical prowess and the ability to, like, understand how to set up good traps against certain recovery routes. And we've seen his recovery route is extremely linear. So whether yep. it be the block placement or the anticipation of uh, Mr. E wanting to recover high, just. This has you guys could kill us so fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's so it, funny. it is. That's crazy. That's I mean, me. <laughs> it's Caster it's jump instant, scare. instantaneously. <laughs> uh, it's that was the, nine seconds. Yeah. yeah. If there's anything I can say, it is that there's a reason that Syrup had for a couple times over was the number one player in New Jersey. Over Tweak, yep. over Jackal, over a fiery hot web JP. Like, it is Syrup constantly being everyone's bracket demon. Right. They made a new jersey? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> great set, though. Great, great, great set. Very well played. We saw.